So Amazon resource names uniquely identify AWS resources and ARNs are required to specify resource and ambiguously across all of all of AWS. So the ARN has the following format variations. So there's a few different things here, but just notice here that sometimes it has a resource ID or it has a path, so with the resource type, or it could be separated by a colon. So the partition um, could either be AWS, China, or GovCloud, because this is basically the AWS uh, portal or URL that are completely separated from each other, uh, as we talked about those earlier in the course. Uh, then there's the service identifier, so EC2, S3, IAM, pretty much every service has their own uh, service that uh, name here that would be identified. Then the region would be pretty obvious, US East 1, CA Central 1. You'd have account ID, which would be 12 digits. Uh, the resource ID uh, could be a name or a path. So like for um, IAM users, we have user Bob. This is an EC2 instance. And most of the ARNs are accessible via the AWS Management Console. And you can usually click the ARN to copy it to your clipboard. So here is it is for um, an S3 bucket. And notice that it's a little bit different because it is a global service, AWS. There's no reason to specify the region or the account ID or uh, anything else there, like the resource type. So straight away, we already know it's a bucket, so we can just say my bucket. So that one's really short, but in other cases, it's really long. So here it is for a load balancer, and it has all the information there. And notice that like this has a pass, this is load balancer app, my server, MLB, and then it has the ID, okay? For paths and ARNs, they can also include uh, a wildcard asterisk. And we'll see these like with IAM policies or, or paths. These are really useful when you are doing um, uh, policies where you have to specify an ARN and you want to say a group of things and things like that. So there you go.